Absolutely beautiful. We are back. Oh, Lloyd was reaching down for that. Ooh, pretty Jasper. We are back out today looking for some agates, some Jasper petrified wood, and fossils. Oh, speaking of, there looks like some early nacre. This is a good spot for baculite, so I'm hoping we get into some good stuff. It's kind of windy. So I'll probably only be keeping the camera out if I'm actually finding stuff. So I'm going to start poking around and I will be back. Actually, I guess I should take advantage of the fact that the wind is down right now. So yeah, we are walking over to a spot where I know that there are some good limestone exposures. Let's see what we can come up with find some really really nice baculites and agates over here so hoping for some good stuff got to get over to the exposure first though so what's that that is nothing alrighty I am getting into some very nice stuff I'm sorry I'm not recording as much as I would like to but that wind noise is just awful really really bad Finding some great, great baculites. Oh, here's some pearly stuff here. It's pretty fractured though. Very fractured. Okay. Keep moving. Is that what I think it is? Hey, it is. Some petrified wood. And right next to it is some jasper. Check this out. Probably won't look like much, but get it up into the light. There's an agate. Well, first off, a little piece of petrified wood, but that is a beautiful agate. It is so dark. Dang, that is really nice agatized wood. Very pretty. I'm trying to get as much filming in right now as I can because it seems like the wind has kind of died off for a second. But I definitely do not believe that it's going to last very long, so... That is a beautiful jasper. Jasper agate. There's some lacy stuff going on in there. It's super pretty. I'll get close-ups at the shop. Alrighty, so I figured I'd take advantage of this lull in the wind to show you what I'm doing. Ooh, there's a nice baculite. Small, but it has really good sutures. So, oh hold on, Mr. Floyd. Oh, that was smaller than I thought. So I'm going around and finding all of these. Actually, that looks like it's a baculite. Cool. All of these limestone concretions, and I'm just flipping them to see if I can find any good stuff. Oh, sorry, Floyders. <laughs> I didn't know you were using me as a backrest, bud. You okay? All right, so here's a good spot. See these limestone concretions that are septarian in nature. They've got those pockets of calcite. So these are, are going to be the kind of things that are going to be holding baculites. Go away, wind! Alright, so here's a good one. Floyd, give me a second. Every time I flip a rock, he comes over and sits down on it. Ooh, okay. So there is a baculite right here. Perfect. Now, if there's one, there's probably going to be a few more. We will see when we start getting into it. So I was just walking around flipping some conglomerates. And saw that, just sitting there looking gorgeous. Tell what you're looking at. That is a beautiful Montana agate. That is Alexis pulling the car up. Alright, I'm going to search just a tiny little bit longer. And then we'll go back to the shop and unload everything. Alright, so there's more in the backpacks. But look at this. There's so many poking out right there. And I see sutures. Nice big one right here, several in this one. Ah, it's so exciting. Let's see if there's anything good in this one. 
Ooh. Yes, there is actually. Nice baculite replaced by calcite, so it is going to show some very good sutures once it gets polished. Very cool. That is just awesome. Really nice crystal formation, actually. And then on the do the bottom side, you can see all those fossils poking through. That's going to be a cool piece. Alrighty. Well, I think that's going to do it for here. We got to get back into town, so I guess I will search my way back to the car. And yeah, I'll see you back at the shop, and we'll go through everything. We are back at the shop. I am gonna start cleaning all these off and I'll get some close-ups. Alrighty, well I've got pretty much everything cleaned off and there are some really nice fossils in here. I'll get some close-ups in just a second and if fossils aren't really your thing there's also a good deal of jasper, petrified wood, and agates. Alrighty, well let's start with the rocks first I think. Look at this beautiful piece of agatized wood. My light over here sucks, so I'm gonna be using this flashlight. Look at all the red in there. Look at the texture in this piece. Just beautiful. Those pockets are so clear. Gorgeous piece of agonized wood. And then we've got this piece, which again is just so cool. Let's see, it actually very porous because it was probably decaying before it got fossilized. Very cool. Or it's palm wood, one of the two. I love this one. I don't know if it, the camera is going to show it at all, but it has just a brilliant pocket right there. Druzy. Yeah, there we go. Kind of see it sparkling a little bit. It is just gorgeous. Get a light under it, and it's got good amount of moss actually inside of it. Love the texture. That texture is just awesome. Then we've got this one which may not look like much until you get it wet. And that is some wonderful color in there. That is gonna be very very pretty and moss so hard to beat that. And then I found this one which again so dark you wouldn't think it's an agate but look at that it is so dark i love it i'm so excited these are some of my favorites to polish because they just look so good and here are what are arguably the nicest ones in my opinion look at how pretty this jasper is if i can get here one sec there we go it is so cool weird bubbly texture, all those clear pockets. Ah, oh, this is gonna be so pretty to work with. Beautiful Jasper. And, what are you? Oh, this one. I was so excited about this one. Look at the texture on this rock. Beautiful Jasper agate. All of that lacy fortification stuff going on. It is so pretty and it's gonna make a beautiful, actually it's big enough to probably make two cabs. And they're gonna look so good. Next I wanted to show you all something that has helped me tremendously. And you don't have to worry about it as much if you're finding river rocks, but these actually were coming out of the river. They were coming out of a, a hill seam. And that is this mineral growth that you get on top of your stones. You can see it right here, really strong. Uh, there's a couple others that have it. Like this one. Can't really see the stone because there's so much of that mineral growth on it. But, we can actually use chemistry to our advantage and get rid of those. Show those stones off to their fullest. 
And for those of you that have watched any number of my videos, you probably already know exactly what I'm going to say. I am talking about this stuff right here. It is literal magic created by wizards. Alright, so when you pour it out, it won't look like this. This is just dirty because I have this batch going pretty much at all times so I can clean off stones for this exact reason. So the stones we are using, our cleaning, are the only reason that we can actually use this process. Uh, the reason that this works is because that mineralization, that mineral coating, like that, will dissolve in acids, whereas quartz, so agates, agatized wood, jasper, they will not. They will be untouched by the acid. So, we can take them, here's a really dirty one, hiding a very pretty jasper, and just submerge it. You'll see it instantly starts fizzing. And we're pretty much just going to do that with all of these and leave them in. I always take it outside when I'm done with it because the stuff is fairly caustic once when stuff is dissolving. And check on it every now and then and whenever it's done fizzing you know that your all of your stones are clean. And you just take them out, rinse them out in water and you're done. Wanted to get a close up on this one so I could do a good before and after. See there's some nice jasper in there, but it's, a lot of it is hidden. So here's before, and here is that same jasper, now that it's come out. That is a gorgeous, very, very, very pretty jasper. And this one was completely coated. That is a beautiful jasper. And I would have never known. Wow, that is very pretty. Alrighty, well I think it's time to start getting into some of these conglomerates, so I'm gonna pick out a few, work on them a bit, and I guess I will show you all how they look when they're done. have it I'd say they came out fairly nicely the problem with recording it is it the reason that they flare so brightly is because you're looking at them you know from technically multiple angles with one lens you're not getting that same effect as you would by using just your eyes so it yeah it's kind of hard to actually get photographs of stuff like amylite and abalone also though I love the the sutures on this one just too cool nice crystal pockets inside and this little chunk right here actually there was some really nice pearly stuff on this one so I intentionally cut a chunk off and polished it up and same thing I can't the camera is not picking it up very well and here we go this is a little better the funny thing about this stuff unlike other stones is generally speaking the brighter it is the more it washes out the color so if you really want to see the color you actually have to kind of show it off in some dim lighting this will flare a lot more once it has that nice coating over it but ah it's so pretty 
Here, let's try this now with this lighting and see if you can see it better. Absolutely beautiful. My camera is working hard to capture this, but it's, it might not be able to show fully how pretty this thing is. Beautiful baculite. Pretty. They are just so much fun. Uh, definitely let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in seeing me go through more of those baculites. I have plenty of them at the moment, so yeah, always more room to do another one. But as for this one, I think that's gonna do it. If rocks, fossils, and shells and carving are something that interests you, definitely consider subscribing because I'm doing this kind of stuff literally all the time. Uh, also, don't hesitate to leave me a comment. I love having conversations with all of you. But yeah, I think that's gonna wrap this up. I have quite a few really cool projects I'm working on at the moment, and I'm excited to see what you all think about it. So yeah, I will see you all soonish. <laughs> I made a mess.